was this one of your better defensive efforts on the on the heels of the other nine? It, yeah, definitely. We um, you know, we saw what we struggled with at Delaware, and you know, coaches really harped it. We uh, we've been giving up a lot of points in our kind of more recent conference games, and so we knew coming into this this game, Northeastern is a really good team, and if we want to, you know, make sure we win, we gotta play lockdown defense. Um, and you know, in the beginning of the second half, kind of we dropped a little bit. We came out of the out of the gate a little slow, but it's good to see that we were able to pick it up and still play as a team and play really hard defense. You know, board like we did in the second half and uh, come out with it. I'll tell you guys, uh, in the first half we we're kind of taking it to them down the paint. The second half they came out and started to do the opposite to you guys down in the paint. What did you guys focus on, especially down low? Um, well, we were just running out, running our offense, you know, the way we did it. And we got to adjust if Northeastern was going to hedge out on our guards like Daniel, Marks, and Omar, which they have to. Um, they were just going to dump it down low to Sean. We are going to get easy buckets. Um, but I think most of their, you know, paint, paint points in the second half because we were a little slow. We were a little lazy coming out. You know, we had a 11-point lead, I think, at the start of the second half. And so we took our foot off the pedal a little bit. But, you know, as we continue to grow, we got to, you know, get rid of that five, six-minute stretch where we weren't playing as hard as we should be. Omar, you guys led throughout the game. You probably figured they'd make a run at some point. They got within a couple, several times in the second half. Then it's 63-60 fairly late, and you guys closed 13-2. How pleased are you guys with, with the way that you closed this game? Uh, I mean, Coach has really been talking to us about finishing games. So, I mean, yeah, that was great for us to come out and finish that way. And we did know they were going to make run. Northeastern's a really good basketball team. And so it was just a matter of time. But uh, I, it was really nice how we came out after they did make their run. And uh, we really focused, sat down on D, and got it done. The uh, crowd was pretty jacked up today. Uh, what was it like playing in front of an atmosphere like that? Um, it was great. You know, we played at, played at North Carolina this year. It wasn't quite up there, but it was definitely probably, you know, our second or third biggest crowd. And it's it's exciting to have the crowd and to also play well. Play, play well in the first half like we did and to close out this game like we did at the end of the second half. Um, it's great. I'm glad, uh, glad we had a good turn. Uh, Omar, you guys had a, a pretty good day from your bench. A couple, couple words on uh, Greg Oliver and Tom, what they were able to give to you guys. Uh, they've been playing great lately, and uh, it's a real. It makes it a lot easier. Our jobs a lot easier when they're coming off and playing that well. Uh, we don't have to come in and do everything right away. And uh, Greg's been shooting it great. Ollie's been coming in, giving us really good minutes, just getting assists, getting to the hole, and uh, making things happen. So, yeah, those guys coming in, and they, uh, it's really helping our team. And Tom played a hell of a game. And Tom did play. Uh, Terry, what did you see on Oliver's putback dunk on your layup? Um, I saw a missed layup, and I saw a flying European come behind me <laughs> to, uh, to, to finish it. And uh, I'm really excited for him. We work out together a lot. He came home with me on Christmas because he couldn't go home. So it's just it's great to see him you know, have a great game uh, like he did. Uh, speaking of big plays, what did you guys see on that first half shot from Marcus? Where he's almost lying horizontal and throws up that shot. I think we kind of expect it from him now. <laughs> we see it in practice, um, and uh, it's it's not a surprise when he uh, brings it into the game. What does this mean, like mentally, for the team to fight back after that loss to Delaware with a big win here at home? Um, I just think it shows us what we can be and uh, who we really are as a defensive team. Um, I mean, we got to come out with that enthusiasm every single game, every single play, and uh, we can't do what we did in Delaware and have a second half like that. Do you guys pay attention at all to conference standings and you know having two of the top three teams you know back to back on your schedule? After Delaware, did, did you look at these two games and say, okay, here's our chance to really make a statement, so to speak? A little bit, a little bit. Um, you know, Coach always says the most important game is the next game. And so we focus on Northeastern. And I'm sure tomorrow we're going to look at filming this game, and then we're going to get ready to the Hofstra. Um, you know, that's – we – Hofstra's a great team this year. We've got a lot of great players. And, you know, we're, we're excited to have them at home first.